What's up everybody? Welcome back to another MLB The Show video. Today we're going to go over the best stub making tips and how you can eventually complete collections for very, very cheap. As always, drop a like on the video and if you're new to the channel, hit that red subscribe button and turn your notifications on. Let's get into today's ba -ba 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 If you're looking for great gaming services, Head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FET for 5% off your order. So looking at my team right now, this is from grinding the game, first inning program, second inning program, flipping on the market. It's a lot of good things that you can do in the game for free without having to spend any type of money. Now, I am very, very close to having 99 Ortiz and then 99 Soriana on the team. I'm at 255,467 stubs using this method that I am about to show you in the video right now. So stay tuned for the entire video we're gonna go through a few methods the first method is a method that's pretty known in the community and that's the road to the show glitch using the road to show glitch if you was to make two or three different players grind them up to diamonds sell the perks do all the missions from your road to the show you can easily make between 200,000 and 400,000 stubs that's enough to be able to buy trout what I do is before I go to sleep every single day I will flip some cards for about 30 to 45 minutes and make sure that I I have between a 25 and 45 K profit before I turn the council off. So the road to show method is very effective, but the easy methods, so you don't have to worry about going into a different mode, is setting up your exchanges. Now you can go right in your binder, silvers to golds. I like to go on the market and I like to have a certain buy point. So 77 overalls, I like to try to buy for 175 stubs and below. And then 78 overalls, I like to try to buy at 200 stubs or below. Low. Once we exchange enough cards and you know that you didn't put in no higher than 700 stubs But you can find it at your lowest you'll do the exchange You'll come over here and you'll open your packs now Usually I like to get between 7 and 10 packs set up It just seems like to me if I open more that the odds are better But as you can see right there if we put 500 to 700 in we pull a 84 overall Corbin Burns that sells now for 3,601 stubs so let's Let's go to the marketplace real quick and we're gonna look up Corbin Burns because he should be going diamond pretty soon. So there we go, we're gonna look up Corbin Burns. He's going for 4,196 stubs. You can sell him instantly and almost make a 3,500 stub profit. So if you wanna just flip on the market, you wanna go to filters, make sure you are doing 77 and 78 overall. So I'm gonna show you. Now you can go higher up. If your stub count is 10K or more, you can go higher up. You can start playing with the diamonds and stuff drop a like on the video comment down below if you are interested into the diamond flipping video it's gonna give you way more stubs way faster by using the diamond I usually stay around in this area going up to about the 83 overalls and I would do this for about 30 to 40 minutes and it's gonna be smaller profit I might make 15 20 25 thousand but if you mix in that with some diamonds in that same day you easily gonna be making 60 to 80 or 90 thousand stubs very easy in less than an hour 1,600 662 is his buy now. I got him for 1,313. So we'll go 1661. So I get 1495. I got him for 1313. So you can see that's over 140 profit that I would have been made. So, and these are cars that's going to go real fast. So don't worry about it. So now we're going to do bummer. And this is a great method that you can do, especially if you give yourself 30 to 45 minutes every single day. So bummer. I got him for 167. His sale now right now is 170. So that's a good profit. We're gonna sell them for 319. Always go one under the buy order. So we're gonna get 287 back for selling this. I bought him for 167. You do the math. That's 120 profit that I made that fast. So we'll come to Gonzalez. I mean, if you do this and you just stack up on a lot of them cards, 167, 167, 167. If you got 20 or 30 of these small profit margins out there, you're making two to three thousand stubs. You start doing the diamonds, you start using the exchange methods that I just showed you. So easy to make stubs, so easy to 
fitness your collection. So if you come over here and look, if I sell two of these out of the three that I got from not doing anything, just grinding the game, that'll give me 2,400 stubs. 2,400 stubs. You go look at this guy, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. That's eight of these guys right here. So just think about it. If we go to auto select, I got 30 of them out of the 40. So with this one guy, I can sell two times and I can get about eight of these players. So I'm 30 out of 40. I'm two away from being able to complete it by not doing anything but checking my binder or using the exchange and pulling all these high golds because you're going to guarantee to get golds by using the low silvers that I showed you in the video. If y'all enjoyed the video, if y'all rocking with me, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. It's free, man. You got to hit the subscribe button. Road to 10k.